Good day guys and welcome back to 72T. In today's video we're going to be showing you a quick sneak peek on the brand new Fetch TV update. So we're going to show you a few new things that you guys can get excited for for August and September when this update should be launching. So we're going to look at the new TV guide. Also there's going to be a mini TV guide which is pretty cool. You can scroll through all the channels on the left side of the screen which is really nice. Also we're going to show you what happens when you click on the pull menu which shows you a few recommended titles up at the top of the screen. I'm going to show you that and a bunch of other great stuff. So let's get into it and show you all that cool um, stuff coming soon to Fetch TV. And um, you guys are going to love all this new stuff. So the first thing we'll mention is when you hit the pull button on the remote. Now it's just the middle button on the right, the remote. You'll now see it's not a grey um, area, it's now like this black and redesigned sort of interface which looks pretty cool. Most of the features stay the same, so you've got your My Stuff, Movies, TV, Apps, Manage and Account, you've got all that the same. Uh, the only difference is it's now sort of a black sort of look, which actually looks kind of nice. So that's the new feature on the main home screen. So that's what you're going to be greeted to when you hit that pause button. That's what sort of page you're going to look at. Now when you change channels, it's very similar, but then again, it is a very good change what they have done. So let's go over there and show you what that looks like. So if you were to change channels, what you're going to look at. So you're going to be greeted to a menu like this, which actually looks really neat. You've got the time down the bottom, you've got when the show ends, also you've got how far you are um, watching the stream. So this is live right here, um, so that tells you you are live. And if it goes a bit over, that means you have paused it and it's not live. So that gives you a bit of an idea as well. And now we'll show you an actual picture of it. So that's just a demonstration video. Now let's actually show you a picture of what it looks like. So this is what you'll be greeted to if you go to Discovery. You're gonna have all your different titles right there. It's gonna tell you the rating up the top, again, when it finishes and so on. Very easy to navigate through the TV guide and you just hit the channel button to change the channels. If you hit the up button, on the remote, this does something even better, and we're going to show you what that does right now. So for this menu, for this menu, you have to hit the um, change the channel buttons. However, if you hit up and down arrow on the remote, you'll be greeted to this nice little menu, which is it's pretty cool. So you can scroll through all the channels by just clicking the up and down arrow. Now again, if you hit the change channel buttons, you won't be greeted to this menu. You'll be greeted to the menu we just showed you before. So if you want to quickly scroll through a bunch of channels, you can hit the up and down um, button and you'll be able to scroll through all these great channels right here. And it's really easy to navigate through them. So yeah, it looks pretty cool and it's going to be great when this launches. Now we're going to show you information areas. So where to re how to read about the information on the channel. Let's show you what that menu looks like. And again, very similar to what it used to look like. Again, it's been tweaked a tiny little bit. So let's bring that up right now. So if you look at it right now, you're going to see it's a little bit tweaked. It now has the time, tells you the rating, um, shows you a little thumbnail, and then you can click more information. Now, if you click more information, again, it shows sort of what you see right now on Fetch TV. It's just a little bit tweaked. And as you see, you can now watch it. You can watch it now. You can set a series record. You can record or you can just close this menu. And also it gives you a bit of an information on um, what this is about. Now let's show you the apps area. What does that look like? Now this is by clicking on the apps button on your remote. What menu you'll be greeted to to look at all your applications like what sort of apps are on there. Again it's going to be very similar to what you see now. Again a little tiny bit tweaked. Let's bring that up on the screen right now. And this is your apps area. So you've got all your apps right here. A little bit tweaked again, pretty much the same of what you're looking at now. That is your apps area. Now let's go to catch up. Catch up area is very similar, very little bit tweaked as well, but again, very much similar to what you are seeing now. So I've only got two more things to show you, and that is the movie store, TV store, and obviously the new TV guide, which actually looks really good. I'm actually really impressed. That's probably my favorite thing about this whole update is that TV guide. It looks really great, and we're going to show you all about that um, in just a second. But first, we're just going to show you the uh, movie store and TV store, so you have a bit of an idea of the bit of change there. Again, it's very similar to what you're looking at right now. So this is your movie store right here, so you can scroll through the most popular, all that great stuff on the movie store. And again, this will be the same on the TV store, um, so you'll be greeted to a nice little menu like this. And this is the TV guide. So again, it's really great, this TV guide. Um, it really shows you everything. You can add favorite channels, uh, as you see by clicking that yellow button. You can scroll through them. It's really easy to navigate through the channels and it looks amazing. Um, let us know what you think about the TV guide, but that's definitely my favorite feature. That TV guide looks amazing. 
And um, yeah, that's basically everything with um, everything coming to Fetch TV in the next few months. And um, let us know what you think about it and what your favorite feature is going to be when it launches. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. And that's basically all the info we have on Fetch TV. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.